Hey everybody. It's a beautiful morning, but I am cranky. I'm having some sort of female trouble waiting to hear back from the doctor as to what it is. And I'm in pain. And I'm irritated because people on the internet keep talking smack about the injection. The dangerous injection that's only been tested on hundreds of millions of people by now. And then when they get a little bit of pushback, they freak the fuck out. And you know what? Oh, hi, but what are you doing down there? Are you having a dust bath? God, try to be mean. Come on. Work with me, girls. Um, you know, oops, there we go. You cannot expect me, who comes on here with my face and my life all the time and tells the truth. Oops, it's not film that, Berenice. Um, to take you incredibly seriously if you have a generic YouTube avatar and no videos, not even any voices. Voices are fine. We can tell who people are by their voices, right? No voices. I haven't had any email conversations with you. I never heard of your ass before. But you want me to give you all the benefit of the doubt that you're one of mine? That you're one of mine? No, because mine are brave. And they make fucking videos. Whether they're just talking or they're showing their face. I don't care. And they talk about shit. And they don't come after women in defense of men. In comment sections who are propagating anti-vax theories. And that's what it fucking is. Anti-vax hysteria. Which are hurting our people the most. You know who gets long COVID more than anyone else? Young women, you idiots. You know who's dying of this? Black and brown people. So fuck you. Fuck your anti-vax bullshit. I don't care what you want to call it. You don't want to take it? Fine. Fucking don't. Let Darwinism reign. But shut the fuck up about it. Or if you don't want to shut the fuck up about it and you want to spew your bullshit in the comments section, don't be fucking surprised if someone says, hey, you're an anti-vax nutter. What's wrong with you? Don't be surprised if there's pushback. Jesus. I am so cranky today. I cannot even with you fuckers. I cannot even. Do you even know about Eek? Do you know what's happening right now? <laughs> if you don't know what Eek is, you don't know what the 484 is, then get the fuck out and shut the fuck up. And I, you know what? Here's something else. Uh, this drives me crazy. You all assume that I don't know what I'm talking about because I disagree with you. I have lots of sources too. I've listened to many scientists from all different parts of the world. I was watching a video for deaf people in India yesterday. Like, you know, educate yourself. You know who you fucking sound like? You're telling me I sound like a TRA? You sound like a fucking TRA. Educate yourself. How dare you assume I have not? I've been aware of what's going on months ahead this whole fucking time. Okay? Fucking males, you always show yourselves. And you fucking handmaidens that come in and defend them and fight for them. Bitches, you're the ones that are going to end up with long COVID, so you better chill. Because the mutations aren't getting better. They're getting worse. I know, girls. I'm t <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, shake that stick. Show who's the boss, Annabelle. What are you doing? Did you just lay? Did you just lay, girl? Sometimes they like to move sticks around after they just laid. It's very funny and cute. And about what she doing? So that's where my mind's at today. I just have no patience for y'all. And I'm not going to argue incessantly in comment sections and go back and forth with their sorry ass. Fuck you, make a video. Or shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's another thing. I used to do these things called safari notes because all my videos are only directed at women and it was just pointing out uh, typical male behavior in certain settings. So here's one. A male will come into a quote-unquote radical woman's comment section 
and attack what he feels are the most radical or the farthest out there <laughs> you're gonna eat my shoe or the farthest out there women in hopes of causing a divide between the most radical women and the other women in the group because the other women don't want to be that look I'm not unreasonable like her I'm still a good woman I still I don't I don't need to be treated like that it's it's just I've seen it a million times, a divide and conquer technique. So watch for that because that's what I saw yesterday. Yeah, Annabelle, you're about to get petted. You're about to get petted, yeah. So that's what they'll do. Which is one of the reasons I don't want males commenting on any feminist topics on my videos. I did tell one guy it was okay to talk about the chickens and I meant it. That's fine. We can all talk about chickens together. Unless you tell me not to feed them fucking meat. Like the, like the one guy who came in and tried to mansplain me how to feed my chickens. Look at your butt. Why do you have hay all over you? What happened? What happened, huh? <laughs> Why are you... Oh, I need to clean you up. You're a mess, baby. Okay. So... That's where I'm at today. I don't even know if I'll post this because I don't like to be so negative. But I'm in pain. I'm cranky. And I'm fucking sick of y'all not getting the fucking vaccine and not shutting the fuck up about not getting the vaccine. Because I would like to be done with this motherfucking thing. But it's a race against the fucking mutations now, isn't it? Against the variations. And y'all are trying to make sure we lose. Look, here in Michigan, the, the hospital right up the fucking street from me has the most cases in the entire fucking state. And they have the most B117s. 40% of the fucking cases are B117 now. Okay? So all you youngs that thought you weren't going to be affected, guess what? Maybe you need to do some research. Everybody have a great day, unless you're anti-vaxxer, in which case, fuck you. And stop asking people for money on the internet then, by the way. Okay, bye.